All right, so we were back at it today doing the final step of this renovation and that was putting the iron cutter sprigs on the lawn. Before I get into any more of this video, I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Brandon from Turf Culture, Sean from Sean's Midwest Lawn Care, and Randy from New Perspective Lawn Care. All of them are St. Louis lawn care nerds like me and I had asked them if they wouldn't mind coming helping me spread these sprigs and they without hesitation said yes i will come help you and i just want to give a big thank you to them for coming to do this because it made this process that much easier helped me get the sprigs down on the ground ground that much quicker and it was just awesome having them here helping me uh, get to this point in the renovation Alright, the sprigs are down and really all the hard manual labor is over. All I need to do now is just stay on top of my watering and keep these sprigs hydrated so they can get rooted down into the ground and start spreading as aggressive as they possibly can to fill in this 4,500 square foot area of my lawn. Started bright and early this morning, went to the sod farm with Brandon. Uh, that was really cool just to see them harvest the sprigs. I could watch that stuff all day long. Um, we were back here within an hour or so and within a couple hours after harvest the sprigs were down on the ground and we were rolling them into the ground. So putting them down is pretty easy. Um, not much to it. We were just sprinkling them on top of the ground like you would hay or something like that. Um, we were just kind of keeping them in piles to make sure we were spreading them as evenly as possible. And then after that, I tried to use a spike aerator to kind of crimp them into the ground, but it really wasn't working. Um, it wasn't really pushing any of the plant material into the ground. So I just went straight to the lawn roller, filled that bad boy up, and went to town all over the lawn, pushing that plant material down into the sand cap. Prior to rolling though, I did um, saturate the lawn. I got it nice and damp and wet, um, and that just helped the plant material kind of get pushed into the sand cap uh, that much easier. So, so that's what we did today. That was the process of sprigging. There's not a whole lot to it, I guess. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure you get them evenly spread. You don't want them clumped up in big piles or anything. Um, and then you just want to try to get them pushed into the ground as much as possible. The, the sprigs is similar to seed. You want that soil to sprig 
contact kind of like you want seed to soil contact you really want to make sure you get that sprig to soil contact um, so they can start rooting down and then start spreading as aggressive as possible so um, yeah it's it was a fun process and now I'm just looking forward to watching this thing fill in and spread um, and I'm gonna try to do a, a time-lapse video of taking pictures every week to just kind of show the progress of how it goes so I appreciate all of you guys watching these videos. It's been really cool to take all of you along with me on this journey. I'm really excited to finally be at this point in the renovation. And now I'm just looking forward to watching this stuff fill in. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank all of the Sean, Brandon and Randy for coming out and helping. We'll see you guys in the next video.